Hi guys and welcome to Just Ironic. I'm Elle and welcome to this video. If you haven't noticed, I have a microphone so I love it. So today's video is who made my clothes. So basically I have a whole bunch of clothing at my side, specifically sweaters, and I'm going to look at where they were made, the materials, taking care of them, instructions, and how long I've had it. If you've never heard of who made your clothes, it's actually a campaign by Fashion Revolution. I'll leave the link in the description. I highly recommend you looking into it so you can find out more about the complex issues behind fashion. Starting off actually with, with this like cardigan that I have that I got in high school. I was super into like really quirky like cardigan sweaters when I was in high school and you can see all like the little apples and stuff on here. Like look at that. That's so cool. And basically I got this at the thrift store for about a dollar obviously. Only grandmas wear this but I thought it was cute. I was very popular in high school. Yeah, this is from the brand Mandel Bay. It's 55% Rami, 45% cotton, 55% Rami again, and then 45% cotton. It's taken care of is dry clean only, but I have washed dry clean only cardigans, but it starts to fuzz at the sides and it gets older faster, so I definitely don't dry clean them and I do let them kind of die, but I mean, who goes dry cleaning? Like, what 20 year old dry cleans? You know? So, anyways, it was made in China. So, our first made in China. Next, this sweater is a really old sweater that I got from Walmart and it has a lot of holes in it and i really like it because it's like a really light casual sweater for whenever and it's super comfy and soft it was made sometimes i hate how you don't know where it is like where the label's at so you have to look for it and it's like a little scavenger hunt i can't even hold this one <laughs> there you go it's 30 percent acrylic 27 percent cotton 24 percent polyester and 10 percent nylon and it was also made in China, so our second made in China. Also, if you hear my chair squeak, this is a really old chair that I actually got from a thrift store. So, yeah. Okay, so next sweater is this Anna sweater that's pink. Super oversized. It used to be my mom's, but she didn't like it or it was too small for her. It was also made in China, so our third made in China. It's 55% cotton, 45% acrylic and you have to machine wash it warm. I usually wash my sweaters in like colors, so like pink with pinks and blues with blues and grays with grays, and that usually helps. And I always do a regular wash with a light soap, and that usually gets the job done. I guess my sweaters are in good condition, so it does help. So this one's a purple sweater that I got in the thrift store as well. Most of my sweaters are from the thrift store, so if I don't mention where I got them, they're usually from the thrift store. This one doesn't have a label. I think I took the label off, or it was already off. I'm not sure. I'm not someone that really buys labels that much. This has no information, people. It's anonymous. The anonymous purple sweater is beautiful. No information, so I do not know anything about this sweater that's what you're going to find probably in thrift stores with older clothing like you're not gonna find like where things are from so yeah just know that if you ever buy from thrift stores okay so the next sweater is this sonoma gray sweater it's really great because i love how it can like really shape your body and it keeps you warm sonoma i don't know what it is it's like from target right if you know please leave it in the comments it's a medium and it was made in Thailand actually, which is so far away. I could never imagine myself going to Thailand to buy a shirt. And this one is 100% cotton and it's manuit, man, machine, <laughs> manuit, machine wash warm with like colors. I love this sweater and I've had it for like five years and it's an amazing quality. So this sweater is a thrifted sweater. I love the pattern on it. I think it's really cool. I think I'll feature this sweater in a different video. But the label is not on here so I have no idea where it's from. I don't know any of its history and it's such a cool shirt. Like I just love clothing so much and not to know the brand of it and not know where it's from is such a loss because I can't research the brand or the company or anything so that's kind of sad a sad clothing story but there is no taking care of label i don't know anything about it so it is a mystery i just love 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 this sweater and that's all i can know about it now this one is my all-time favorite it's literally like a blanket it's basically called the cotton forever brand it's 100 percent cotton and it says machine wash and it's from made in the usa 
So this one is a white knit sweater that I've had for like six years. The brand is uh, Claudia D and it's 100% polyester and it's made in the Philippines. It's a size large and it says machine wash cold gentle cycle and it's really really soft and I love how it just absorbs your body heat it makes you feel warm even if you have nothing underneath or just like a light shirt it's like super warm it's like a big bounty towel absorbing you I don't know if that makes sense but I really really associate this sweater with that feeling so this next sweater is actually from when I would go to Juliet Junior College in the summers I went to a regular four-year university but I got some classes done in a Juliet Junior College so it's 55% cotton and 45% polyester and it's made in Mexico I'm actually Mexican so maybe this was made from exploited Mexicans um so it's machine wash cold it's tumble dry low and I bought it new for about $50 so this really was an investment and it is kind of low quality it's already getting dingy but I think it's because I probably don't wash it with other black <laughs> clothing so yeah I definitely will have to take care of this better but it's like too thick for me so I don't usually wear it because I get really sweaty really fast with like really thick sweaters so I don't really wear it which is sad because I paid a lot for it the next sweater is a, a Fruit of the Loom sweater. It's medium. It was made in the USA. It's 90% cotton and 10% polyester. It's just like a house sweater, if that makes sense. Everyone has a house sweater. This sweater is a super cool sweater that is like Hogwarts vibes. I think it's really cool how it has these colors. I love the yellow and the green and it is a teacher's shirt and I got it from the thrift store for like a dollar. I really love it, it's super comfy and it's like a pajama sweater, I wear it to go to sleep and it's from Platinum Sweats. It's an extra large 50% polyester, 50% cotton and it's made in the USA and it's machine wash cold. The thing is like I would love to know how old my clothing are or how new they are when I buy them in the thrift store but that's like one of the mysteries of buying from thrift stores like you have no idea how old these clothing are so this probably can be from the 2000s and you don't know like your clothing can be 20 30 40 50 60 years old and you have no idea if you buy them used which is crazy to think about so this was a gifted sweater that I got from my mom I usually just get whatever she doesn't want because she buys more stuff than me and it's a Walmart brand it's faded glory it's a large and it was actually made in China so China 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 but this is machine rush cold there's nothing much to say about it it's just like I don't know I don't really like Walmart sweaters they're like trying to be too trendy and I don't really like trendy so um yeah so this one is a turtleneck that is actually really cute i really love it i used to wear this a lot in high school i thought it was like so edgy and grungy so i've had it for about six years but i also bought a vintage so i have no idea like how old it actually is and it doesn't have anything anywhere like the labels are gone so i don't know where it's from i don't know like the conditions i don't know anything about it except that i bought it at a thrift store so it's an enigma it's an enigma sweater from high school years and i don't really wear it anymore because it's like i've outgrown it i've outgrown the style but i don't know what to do with it because emotionally connected so if you have any recommendations of what to do please let me know in the comments now we have this really cute like fluffy cloud sweater it's actually the brand almost famous like me i'm almost famous 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 but not really and it's actually made in china again china let's look at the materials so it's 58 percent polyester and 42 percent acrylic and it says machine wash cold so yeah i really love this sweater because it's really versatile for whatever season and it's kind of trendy and i like a low-key trendy piece that's comfortable so this is perfect so i need to put this where i can just grab it like really fast so this sweater I found in the thrift store for $1 in the men's section. I guess no men like scram press sweaters apparently. The brand is Joe, an environment of style from Joseph Abad. I think Joseph Abad is a really like coveted, 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 coveted brand. And it's 66% cotton, it's 34% wool, it's made in Hong Kong and let's see the reverse professional dry clean only um but yeah i really love the color of this sweater and i've only had it for about a couple of months i bought this in covid actually so i guess some old man 
something happened to the old man i don't know i don't want to think bad but do you ever just think about like what happened to the owners like who had the clothing and why did they give it up that's the things i ask myself when i go thrifting but obviously you don't have to just that's just me so this is one of my last sweaters i'm going to show you today and if you notice there's an undershirt in it because this sweater is super itchy i really don't like the feeling of it on my skin because it's super 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 scratchy and i don't like it so just because you don't like how it feels doesn't mean you can't buy it you can always wear like a long sleeve underneath it and see what works the brand is the king size co by brockton massachusetts for tall and big men and it's 33 i've never seen these measurements before so I don't know. 33 one third wool, 33 one third polyester, and then 33 one third acrylic. So those are really scratchy fabrics all woven together. I don't think they really thought that one through, but you know, maybe that's why it ended up in the thrift store. And it's machine wash cold. Maybe it was made in Massachusetts. I'm not, I'm not sure. Like, was it designed in Massachusetts? It doesn't say. I'm looking at it and it doesn't say. Maybe it was made in Massachusetts. It's for men and for big men. And I'm not a big man, so you can wear big man sweaters if you want big man sweaters. And you're not a big man sweater. So this last sweater is my love of college sweatshirts. I don't know where St. John's University is at, but I love St. John's University because it makes me feel special. This is not necessarily a sweater, it's a hoodie, but it's... I don't, I don't have a lot of hoodies, so I just thought I would include it. So this is a Jane Sport. It's 55% cotton, it's 45% polyester, and it's made in Cambodia, which is the first Cambodia I've seen so far, which is surprising because I usually see it a lot in fast fashion. And, you know, it's really durable. Like, if you buy these thrifted hoodies in the thrift store, they're probably going to last you for years. I've had this one for years, and it looks brand new. So I definitely recommend you checking out used hoodies specifically college used hoodies in the thrift store because i feel like those are really get a bang out of your buck so definitely look into that all right this is the end of the video if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe i am a new youtuber so have some patience with me as these videos get better but please please follow along with this journey i really appreciate your time and your support and if you want to check out my blog i have a blog around sustainable fashion and you can follow me on social medias, my Instagram, Twitter, and my TikTok if you want to check those out. The links will be in my description. And hopefully you learn something about who made your clothes. I think this is really important about just discovering more about what fashion means to you and how that is connected to the world. So yeah, stay safe, guys, and peace and love. Bye.